molecular home blood glucose monitoring allows you to see how your food choices, physical activity, and medications are affecting your blood glucose level and overall health. These checks may be the only way of knowing whether your blood glucose is in your target range day to day. You and your diabetes care team will work together to set up a blood glucose monitoring schedule that fits your self-care routine. Today's blood glucose meters and Lansing devices make it easier and less painful to check your blood glucose. Here are some tips to help you choose the meter that is best for you. Make sure that you can clearly see where the blood sample goes on the test strip. Make sure you can read the buttons and display window. If you have vision problems, there may be meters that are easier for you to use and let you hear the results. Also, there are meters whose strips use a small amount of blood. This makes applying blood to the strip easier. Some meters can record your results and comments and let you download them to a computer to track your results. Today, you can choose a meter that allows you to take a blood sample from your arm instead of your finger. However, if you think you may have hypoglycemia or if you are checking within two hours of eating a meal, use your finger to ensure the most accurate results. Work with your diabetes care team to choose the best meter for you and learn how to use it. While there are many meters, most use similar steps for finding your blood glucose. You should go over the correct method for checking your blood glucose with your diabetes care team. But here are some tips that will help make monitoring easier. Wash your test site with soap and warm water before you check. This will clean off anything that could affect the accuracy of your check. A new sterile lens set should be used each time you monitor. Every meter needs a certain amount of blood to get an accurate result. To make sure you get enough blood from your finger, you can hang your hand by your side for a few seconds, squeeze your hand from your palm to your fingertip, or shake your hand as you would a thermometer. If you are using your arm, gently rub the area. Washing your site with warm water and drying the area will also help in getting a good drop of blood for checking. Change your Lansing site so your skin has a chance to heal. Use the side of your finger instead of the pad because this part bleeds easily and doesn't hurt as much. If you are using your arm, hold the lancing device in place after you lance until you see a drop of blood form. Then, place a drop of blood on the test strip and write down the result in your logbook. And one of the things you can do is take this with you and you can chart on here, you can graph what your blood sugar is and what you're able to see. It's important to keep careful and complete records of your blood glucose checks. Your records may include date, time, and result of your blood glucose check, medication, type, dose, and time taken as well as comments about anything that may have affected your blood glucose level, like dining out, missing your evening walk, catching a cold, forgetting a dose of medication, exercising more than usual, skipping a meal, or any other break from your routine. Some blood glucose records also include information on your daily food intake, so that you can see how eating affects your blood glucose. You and your diabetes care team can use this information to help keep your blood glucose in your target range. If your blood glucose level is above your target blood glucose range, you may need to contact your diabetes care team. It may be that a simple adjustment needs to be made to your treatment plan. Or if you're sick, you may need to refer to your sick day plan, which is discussed in detail in Chapter 9. 
Be sure to write down all episodes of high or low blood glucose in your blood glucose records to share with your diabetes care team. The more frequently you monitor, the more opportunities you have to make a change in the course of your blood sugar control. And so if your blood sugar is too low, you can do something to bring it up. If it's too high, again, you can act on that and bring it back into line before it gets too far out of control. Monitoring is important because it allows you to discover how the choices you've made have affected your blood glucose levels and overall health. Have you set up a home blood glucose checking schedule that works for you? What information are you keeping track of in your blood glucose records? Take your home blood glucose meter along on your next diabetes care team visit. Show them how you check your glucose. This will help make sure you are following the best procedure. Home blood glucose.